exponents and logarithms. So first of all, let's review what are exponents. So first of all, for example, if you have two plus two plus two plus two, how do you express that as an exponent? Well, remember, just like multiplication, uh, multiplication is repeated addition, exponents are repeated multiplication. So, for example, over here we have two uh, being added four times. So this is two times four. So that would be two times two times two. So we're multiplying something by itself three times. So that thing is two and we multiplied it by itself three times. So it gives us two to the third power. All right, so what if we have different numbers? So like, what if we have three times nine times nine? Well, obviously that's 243, but I mean, how can we convert this into an exponent that has the base three and an exponent? Well, how do we find the exponent? Remember that nine is simply three times three, or three squared. Now, what can we do here? Well, notice that this is three to the first power. So, if we have three to the first power, three to the second power, and three to the second power, what is our final thing going to be? Well, stop right there, because what happens if we expand this? Three times three times three times three times three. So there's one, two, three, four, five threes. That's a lot of threes. So this is three to the five. But wait up, three to the five. Now wouldn't it be a nice little coincidence if you took the exponents on there? One plus two plus two. And what exactly is that equal to? <gasps> five. And indeed, this works for any other number. So that means that we've discovered something shocking. The first rule of exponents. So I'm gonna write them all the way over here. X to the A times X to the B is X to the A plus B. All right, so second. Do you want to sit down? No, the chair looks bad in the background. Okay. Okay. So, <coughs> multiplying the same number by itself is all well and good. Well, what happens if, say, we take different numbers and multiply them together? How could you express 2 to the 4th times 3 to the 2nd in terms of whole number exponents? Well, two times two times two times two, three times three times three. No matter what you do, you won't be able to express this with exponents that are whole numbers, of course. You can obviously do this with decimals, but that's way too hard to deal with right now. So, two to the fourth times three to the second, out of the question. But wait a second over here. What if we, Say so replace that three with an eight. Would that still be such a fallacy? Well, let's look at that eight again. Because, you see, rem <coughs> if you remember your exponents of two, then you'll realize that two cubed is eight. Wait a second. So now we have two to the four times eight times two to the three to the two? How do we solve that? Well, it's actually pretty simple. Think about it this way. This is 
two to the three times two to the three, right? Wait, two to the three times two to the three is two to the six because of the rule we learned before. So that means that now we've discovered another rule, multiplying. So that means that taking x to the a and raising it to the b and four that we're missing. x to the a times x to the b is x to the a plus b, right? So then it's only logical that dividing them would subtract them. Who would have thought? And same goes for taking x to the a over b. Though that doesn't really do much. Though it does do a little bit. Mm. So that so those are the four rules of exponents. However, what about the second point of our title? Logarithms. Well, logarithms are actually pretty simple. You have log A of B and it's equal to C, then A of C, A to the C power must be equal to B. So for example, log 3 of 27 is 3 because 3 to the third is 27. So logarithms and exponents are connected in a very bizarre way. But if we have 8 to the x plus 3 equals to 2 to the x plus 3, what do we do there? Well, as we remember, 8 is 2 to the third. And 2 to the third, we have x plus 3 over here. That means that we have 2 to the third, 2 the x plus 3 equals 2 to the x plus 3. And we know how to multiply. Uh, I don't know how to multiply, apparently. And since we have equal bases, all we have to do now is abracadabra. 3x plus 9 equals x plus 3. So, now, all we have to do is solve for x. So, x equals negative 3 in this case. So, it kind of makes sense that 8 to the x plus 3 is equal to 2 to the x plus 3 because they would both be 1. So, anyway, this is how to solve with x uh, this is how to solve variables in your exponents. Nobody likes variables in your exponents. Just like nobody likes bones when you serve up fish. So, uh, yeah, you gotta get those <coughs> variables out of there. Out. 